Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Caching with Kedgerman. Where might I be, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm in a uh, greenway along the South Platte River, south of Denver, south of Littleton, Colorado. I have no idea what this strange structure is for behind me right here, but there's not a cache here. There are two caches on the site to find. One is on the west side of the river, and that's about a half a mile walk from where I parked, and then I have to find my way back to the ridge and head down the east side of the river about a mile or a mile and a quarter to where there's another cache. Those are the two that are my targets for today. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Let's go see if we can find these two caches. There's a little snow remaining from the snow we had here a couple of weeks ago. This puzzle cache is somewhere by this tree, I believe. Just have to find the right spot. It's a micro. Sometimes they're in the V part of the tree. I don't see it there. Maybe this one. Nope. Down the hill here, there's a few spots that could be down on the ground. Oh. Looking back at the tree. Turns out to be a fairly easy one to find. Nice large container, a large micro like this one. Very nice, fairly new, and I'm glad to find it. Well, this was a puzzle cache. A uh, tricky one. It was a puzzle type that I'd never heard of before called a star puzzle. It took me a little while to figure out how to solve this puzzle, but I did just yesterday and decided to come out here for this hike today to find this cache. So the next cache is on the other side of the river. I have to go back to the bridge and then uh, hike down the other side about a mile or so, or maybe more. Well, sometimes when you're on your way to or from a cache, you find something interesting. So what's interesting to me about this really tall utility pole is the fact that it has a date nail in it. Right here, it's a little hard to read, but it says 8080. That's for 1980. So this pole right here has been here 40 years. I wonder if they actually irrigate out here. These things are spaced out about every hundred feet all through the open space here. But it's just weeds. I can't imagine they would irrigate here unless it's a fire suppression thing. I just don't know. This stump looks suspicious. Well, somebody moved here from Lubbock, Texas. This is a small cache. There's no place here for it. However, this looks intriguing. Hey, looky there. I can't get a hold of it there. Maybe the other side. Oh yeah. Let's open this cache, see what we find inside. Log book. There's a pen. There's a neat bug in there. I'll sign the log and we'll replace this very nice cache back where it was. Well that cache was about 120 feet off from where the coordinates said it should be. 
the first person who found that cache back in June, this is November, um, managed to find it somehow by wandering around quite a bit. It was right by the trail, so that probably helped. I was the fifth one to find it, this being November. It's kind of surprising, but it is about a mile and a quarter hike one way to get, get to it. There are other caches in this park, so it uh, uh, makes for a nice little outing. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Caching with Cadgerman. Take a look at some of my other episodes and subscribe to my channel. Perhaps I'll see you somewhere down the trail sometime soon. So long, everybody. Take care.